Hi, I'm Natasha from Finley Creek Soap Company. In this video, I am showing my second attempt at the modified peacock swirl technique from the August 2022 Soap Challenge Club. In last week's video, I showed my first attempt, which it didn't go as I had expected. I'll pop a link in the upper corner um, to that video so you can see all the places where I went wrong. And today I'm hoping to learn from that experience and give it a second shot. So one of the challenges that I had with um, my first attempt was that the soap thickened up a lot quicker than I had expected. So this time I have blended just past emulsion to keep the soap as fluid as possible. In the soap, I'm using a base of white soap from titanium dioxide, and I'm pouring four accent colors into squeeze bottles to apply to the top of the soap. The colorants I'm using are listed in the description box below. So I start by adding the white soap to the mold. Then I'm going to apply each color on top of the mold, hoping that it sinks down in a bit, but I'm not expecting it to reach the bottom of the soap. I'm trying to keep the colors in pretty tight regions, um, but these will all get blended together a bit when I uh, do my first horizontal pass. I think if I were to try this again, I would probably do just three colors on top, as well as the white base. I found that with four in a mold this size, um, instead of having the nice contrast I was hoping for, it ended up getting a bit muddied um, as I was doing both the horizontal swirls and the S curves. The soap was extremely fluid when I made these designs and I really like the way that this is turning out.
Now that that's done, I'm going to start with the S curves uh, going down. One of the challenges I found with this design is just keeping track of those S's as I was moving through. There were parts when I got a bit confused, so my teardrop design wasn't lining up quite as nicely as I would have liked to see. And here's a close-up of the soap top. So I cut these off camera and now I'm just beveling the edges of the bars. So this is a really interesting technique and I look forward to trying it again on another soap in the future. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. I release new videos of the various projects that I'm working on every Monday.